I am always trying to learn new things. I'm trying to learn new bits of language. Uh, so I work on, uh, to some degree, on sound and on equipment. I try different, you know, pieces of equipment and stuff. But beyond that, um, I work. I make up exercises. Um, if I have an idea, I try and put it in every key. Um, like for instance, right now I'm working on the uh, certain kind of relationships of triads, uh, and then I, I. It's hard to explain in a kind of in a quick moment, but. Um, I do things in different inversions. I try and get all over the horn. Um, uh, there, I have books and books of exercises that I've made up, but I don't write the exercises out completely. I'll write out just the idea, and then I try and do it in my head. Uh, that actually comes from a, an approach that I was taught by a gentleman named Gary Campbell many years ago, a great saxophonist who lives in Miami. Um, so I'm always working on new ideas. Uh, it takes me a long time. I'm very slow uh, to get new things, new, uh, new harmonic um, ideas to actually translate into, into my playing. It's a, sometimes a period of months. Sometimes it takes learning something real well and then forgetting about it, and eventually it comes out. Um, I then also just play. Uh, you know, just play tunes alone, or I, I have musicians over occasionally when we play, or I, uh, I you know, just play. And I'm always playing live, so. But the practicing part of it is very important for me. And it's not just lip service. I have to practice, or I feel like I haven't. You know, I feel like I've shirked my responsibility. Is it a daily uh, thing? It's pretty much a daily thing. Uh, some there are periods when I'm doing it better than others. So there's sometimes where it's just maintenance practicing, where I'm just you know doing the, the least I have to do just to keep everything well oiled. And then there there's periods of of, of true growth, you know. Uh, I still listen to other saxophone players uh, tremendously. I, li I listen to, uh, you know, everybody I can. I listen to other, not just saxophone players, and, uh, and I glean ideas from other people, you know. It doesn't all come from my brain. I, you know, I hear, you know, things. I'll, you know, put something on, figure it out. I'll go back, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm amazed with McCoy Tyner still. I listen to Coltrane, Joe Henderson, Sonny Rollins. Um, these are all, you know, um, you know, just such great inspirations, particularly, uh, you know, Joe Henderson, John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins are, you know, still tremendous influences.